no, I can't go out now because I've developed a fear of being around people, that I can't go outside my front door because of the agoraphobia. I can't go into stores. I don't want people to see me. And the worst part about that isn't what it's doing to my life. It's how it affects my family's life. And especially with my kids, because I can't take my kids outside. We don't play outside. We play video games, you know? We eat food, you know? And my kids, my kids love me, you know? But I know, I know I'm an embarrassment. I won't go to school functions. I don't want people to see what their dad looks like because that just makes them a target. Michael just, he's an amazing person, but he has a tendency to look at the negative and he doesn't believe in himself and he doesn't love himself. And I wish he could see through my eyes because I can see how amazing he is, that he's a glowing star and I want him one day to see that. But I hate hiding. I hate being ashamed, and I hate how I'm trapped. I am extremely trapped, both in my body and in my mind. I can't go outside. It's like house arrest. But I feel like I've committed a crime by getting foods that I know I have no business eating. And I hate it that this is what my life's become. I hate myself. I have a body that's 600 pounds. And as much as I've tried to fix it over the years, as many diets, every diet I've ever been on, have all failed miserably. Having to watch him gaining weight, it's just heartbreaking because there's nothing I can do or anyone else. If Michael doesn't change his eating habits, you know, we, we will lose him, you know? And so we're praying that he can do it because he is our light, and I don't want to lose him. I can't even imagine. I know I'm on a limited schedule. Every night I go to sleep thinking, if I die in my sleep, my wife's going to wake up and have 600 pounds of dead meat next to her. So I know I have to change now, because this is a ticking time bomb just waiting to take my life. That once I cross that line where my body can't go on, then that'll be it. I won't make it, and then I'll lose everything. And I can't let that happen.